so well and good saying like um, we're about 85% GDP for the national debt, but what does that actually mean? So in 2010, when the coalition government was in charge, we were in one trillion of debt, which is a huge, huge number. I don't know how many zeros that is. So what that worked out at, or I worked out at, was just over £15,500 per person in the UK. We were in that much debt. Coming to 2019, that has gone up to just over £28,000 per person of debt. And that's every single person, not just working people, not just adults, that is everyone alive in this country. So these are huge figures we're talking about. However, um, both Andy and Mike have said that they want to see it be less. And obviously, I'd love to see it being less as well. But we have got a crisis which we're facing as well. And we do need to invest money in it. Um, so what I'm going to do is tell you how we can make some savings by getting rid of some things which we do spend a lot of money on. Um, we can get rid of Trident for a start, which is about 2.2 billion. We can get rid of the road building program in HS2, which would give us about another 8.5 billion. Um, getting rid of the help to buy scheme, replacing it with something much better, can save another 2.3 billion. There are huge ways which we can start saving money to reduce the national debt as well as investing as well. Thank you.